snowfall amounts have really been all over the place. But one thing that nobody can deny is that there were some places hit very hard. Some spots in New Jersey already reported picking up 14 and 15 inches of snowfall. Now, for New York City residents, you've still got a ways to go when it comes to Quinn. We still have some low to moderate coastal concerns in terms of impacts, and that will continue. And then we could also still be dealing with flooding in the low-lying areas, especially around high tide. Snowfall in Central Park expected. Snowfall in Central Park expects Snowfall in Central Park expects Snowfall in Central Park. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Angel here with Scar Rack Truther. Welcome back to another video. Folks, today we have a lot to talk about, mostly regarding chemtrails, harp, and of course the weather itself, and of course cyclones. Now, obviously this isn't anything special or anything different or anything, you know, dangerous, you know. But this is very important to, you know, notify and inform you that there is something going on with these storms. And that these storms may actually be being modified by chemtrails and harp. Now, New York has now been slammed with a nor'easter storm. Hurricane, I think. Riley and Hurricane Quinn. Now, the New Zealand is going to be getting struck with a, hur with a cyclone as well named Cyclone Hula. Which is a very interesting, interesting name. And there's also a lot of footage on satellites that's been taking over in different videos showing that there's been some chemtrails and harp activities going on on these satellites or near these hurricanes. Anywhere in the Southern California area as a result of that very deep tropical flow that uh, was winding into the uh, that low pressure system. Uh, some rain up here uh, near uh, close to Las Vegas, but nothing down here. Despite this very deep uh, flow pattern coming right out of the uh, tropics. Got Los Angeles right there. We have this tremendous flow and no rain. None. No rain. Here we see a, uh, this is the surface analysis map. We have 993 millibar gale. Right here, flowing, moving to the northeast. But yet, this system is being blocked and re-steered to the north by that high pressure we were just looking at. Take another look at it here. You can see that high pressure right through here. That will force that low away from California. But forgetting that, this should be dumping many, many inches of rain. But the uh, chemtrail aerosols have been sprayed in the northeast what have we had now two in a row basically one after the other just a couple days in between and now you might have heard some talk about at least the possibility of a third one coming in late this weekend into early next week let me get this out of the way right now it's starting to look less and less likely that that's going to happen it's still a possibility don't get me wrong but um, forecast models have been really trying to take the center of this storm pretty well out to sea. Now, if this was the solution that ended up verifying, this is the GFS model, it's the one that's been the most bullish about this storm. Say exactly this happens. You would still get some snow and a little bit of wind, uh, especially close to the coast. Places like Cape Cod would probably get the worst of the storm, but even that wouldn't be as bad as the last two nor'easters. This is something very new. Obviously, we have seen, or maybe some of you have seen or heard of this, it's basically a horseshoe vortex cloud that's been found and it's pretty rare as well to cite. Obviously this footage is from 2011. Let me get your thoughts on this. Is this normal? Is this geoengineered or is this actually made by nature? Let me know in the comments. I will I will appreciate your thoughts and your opinions and you know what's your point on these vortex clouds, you know? Anyways, weather forecast folks. A lot of weather, right? You know, a lot of wind, a lot of earthquakes occurring, a lot of volcanoes, and a lot of volcan volcanic ashes erupting, right? A lot of hurricanes and cyclones going in nor'eastern in the, you know, near New York. It's not really bad. It's not, like, bad weather. It's just snow. Only one person died that was reported. But there's a problem, though. The problem that I want to talk about. The weather, folks, is now... 
a little strange there's a lot of strange weather patterns all over the world right now as you're seeing in this footage here from my chromebook the weather has gone literally insane and it just does not seem normal anymore just look at the amount of weather patterns i mean it's weird now what i'm reporting here is that there's basically going to be a lot of storm a lot of wind over the world and there's going to be three little storms or should i say three little mini hurricanes that are going to be forming by the end of this month so i want you to be aware of that because these hurricanes may actually be i don't know huge and this is going to occur at near africa there's also a lot of reports on earthquakes and yellowstone the super volcano that could erupt anytime soon or later hopefully so there is a lot of shit going on folks with these earthquakes these earthquakes will soon activate these volcanoes where which means that they will erupt and will cause a lot of havoc animals folks are actually another big thing animals are getting strengthened and threatened by climate change as they say but it's geoengineering folks the amount of weather changes the amount of havoc weather right now is ridiculous all right that's causing these animals to actually be threatened by the weather now my next point i want to get into is the sand smuggling i'm reporting this again because a lot of people aren't aware of it as of yet and still don't understand it's basically them removing the sand you can also search up sand smuggling or the sand smuggling theory you know to learn more about this or the sand wars documentary anyways it's basically them you know getting sand taking away sand from oceans which means that it will disrupt the continents which means that we will be sinking because of course we're removing the sand and we're losing sand and by losing that sand the continents will be disrupted and will start sinking right and the water will start rising but my point is though is that you know the sand smuggling may be causing landslides earthquakes and all that right sinkholes but i came to the conclusion that this may actually be a problem for the weather Think about it. If we start removing that sand, the water will rise. So the more the water rises, the more water we're going to have around the continents. And the more the continents and the land will disappear. So if we have more water in our world, that water will soon warm up by the days, right? Which will mean that more havoc weather will occur and more storms like hurricanes will you know appear and will cause more havoc around the world you get what i'm trying to say here exactly because of mining activities we lose coral reef we lost fish we lost livelihood of fishers we lose income of fisher family we lose everything Anyways, folks, I'll leave you guys the rest of the video. Please leave a like, share this video, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to be aware of everything. Make sure to check the weather forecast, Ventoski.com. And I'll see you again. Peace. Oh, whoa, whoa, did you see that? Wow, look at that, look at that, look at that. Wow, man. That was no moth. Wow, there's no bugs out here. It's, it's in the 40s which means there's no bats. The bats follow the bugs. June 20th, 2017. Chemical disaster feast above us right now. Killed by all the nasty colors. Those are not real clouds. Does that look normal? Try to do a sheep that might look normal. But sheep don't even look up. They stare down their phones.